What's going on guys? My name is of course Jay and welcome yourselves back to a brand new video from Tech J UK. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Netgear Orbi tri-band Wi-Fi 6 mesh system. The particular model that I have here today guys is the RBK752. So that has one router and one satellite system. It really is very simple to get started with this. So let's get on with the video and let's get this system set up. Okay, so let's start off by obviously getting inside of the box. Included, they give you this let's get started document, which basically explains in three simple steps what you need to do to get started. And they also provide you with a further manual and some documentation, but this video is gonna show you exactly how to get it set up. So we can just get rid of this. So in the box we get our router, the one satellite, the power supplies to power the devices and also a network lead to connect the router to your home modem. At this point you're going to need to download the Netgear Orbi app which is on iOS and Android. Just a word of warning, I've condensed this setup video so make sure that you pause the video as and when needed. So we open up the Orbi app and accept the terms and conditions and then we allow the local network access to the app and hit allow again you can allow notifications if you want to and allow the auto connect location services and then we get to our account so what you want to do is create a brand new account I have already set one up so I'm just going to log into the account that I made earlier. You can turn on Face ID if you want to. And now we want to set up an Orbi. Get started. And now we want to enable the camera because we need to scan the QR code which is on the Orbi router sleeve or the base. As you can see here, I've just done it on the base of the router. Now you want to locate your modem, so this is your ISP supplied router. And you need to unplug the power supply from it. Then you need to power up the modem again and wait for the lights to turn on. Once this is done, you need to Put the network cable into the internet port on your Orbi router and then plug it into one of your remaining ports on the modem router. You then can now position the satellite and power it on. So as you can see the illustration on here basically shows us the sort of recommended area to place your satellite. The satellite is now going to start up so you just need to wait for the app to do its work and the satellite to power on. And now we want to join the Orbi network. This does this automatically, so you just click join. And that will run through more of the setup. And then once it's done, it should say Orbi network detected and it will say you've got internet access and it will detect your satellite. So it means that the satellite and the router are talking with each other. So that is everything all done and your Orbi and satellite is set up. You can now create your own Wi-Fi network if you want to change the SSID name and give it a custom password. It's also going to ask you to create an admin password for the app. And then you can set up some security questions just mainly for your admin account. It will then go through a check for new firmware and if it does find any it will ask you to update it but as you can see we're up to date with it all here. And now it says we're up and running. Your Orbi is now configured. So that is everything up and running. It's now going to tell us about the Armour security trial or you can subscribe to it which basically unlocks a set of extra security features to really protect your home network. So this is the main dashboard of the app 
and you've got all of these different tiles here which kind of represent all the different features that you can do with the Orbi. You've got things like device manager, internet speed, guest Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi settings. You've got a couple of extra features such as smart parental controls which you have to subscribe to and also the armor security. Okay, so there you have it. That's the Netgear Orbi Wi-Fi 6 mesh system up and running. As you can see, it's really nice and easy to get started with it and get it all set up and running. I'm gonna be using this system in my home network for a little while and I'll bring a review video to YouTube. If you've got any questions or you're stuck in any part of the process, then please leave a comment in the section down below and I will get back to you. If you've enjoyed the video, please smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Thanks for watching as always guys, and I will see you in the next video.